What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be installing some TSB clips in the transmission of a Nissan GTR. This is a 2009 Nissan GTR, which the owner and I will be installing the TSB clips in today. It was having shifting issues and only shifting in the odd gears, so the fluid was changed prior but the issue is still there, which now leads us to believe it was due to the transmission actuator piston not operating correctly. Earlier CBA GTR transmissions are most likely to have this issue and Nissan is aware of it and has sent out a service bulletin. So if you're having this problem also, then it's likely that you need to have the TSB clips installed. We ordered our three transmission clips from Jack's Transmission. Each piston has an offset magnet inside which aligns with the shift sensor. Wear can happen over time to the square edges found here on the pistons causing the magnets to rotate on their own and that's where the shifting issues may be coming from. These clips are used to help align the piston magnet to the shift sensor so it doesn't do that. You'll need two of these special holding pins from Nissan but we decided to make our own from paper clips found around the house. Just cut them to the size and shape shown here. Now it's time to jack up the GTR and get started. First take off the under tray so there is access to the transmission pan and drain the fluid. Unbolt the 21 10mm bolts once it's drained and make sure to have something underneath to catch excess fluid. Remove the suction filter by grabbing these corners and slightly rocking back and forth while pulling downwards. After taking the suction filter off, the next step is to disconnect all the green connectors. They're the press and remove type. The main plug is a big green round connector located right here and right above it is a gray round connector. They're hidden underneath this heat wrap so unravel it and you'll see them. The main harness connector is right here in green and right above it is another connector in gray. Both of them have C-clips that need to be removed first and then you can twist them to disconnect. After that, push both the green and gray connectors inwards like this. All the other green plugs have been unplugged right there and we have it hanging right here. There is a 10 millimeter bolt underneath this harness that secures the temperature sensor bracket which needs to be unbolted and detached so you can take out the valve body assembly. With the two clips we're going to insert one of them right here and one of them right here. Now it's time to remove the actuator control module. Notice that the two clips have already been inserted to prevent the actuators from rotating. We were unable to insert them correctly though, but did anyways and that may be due to the pistons having been moved out of alignment, which is causing the shifting issues we're having. You'll need to unbolt these five bolts using a T30 Torx. Be careful not to round out the head because they are very shallow, but if you do, you can get deeper ones from Jack's transmissions, like this. So we found two more green connections hidden on top of the actuator module which need to be disconnected before we can take it off. Here is the actuator module off of the GTR. Notice that some of the pistons have rotated on their own and it's not aligned. This is most likely causing the shifting issue we're having. The magnets are misaligned and this is how to find and properly position them. Use a paper clip to find the magnet on the piston and align it with the shift sensor in black. Do the same for the one across from it, then go to the next piston and do the same. Repeat on this one, and the same thing on the last piston. Everything should be aligned now, so place the holding clips back in from the bottom so the pistons don't rotate again. Now it's time to install the TSB clips you have to line up the slots to the hole on the piston. This way is incorrect because it doesn't line up with the hole. In case you're wondering why we have to do this, it's to ensure that the holding clip can pass through from the bottom to prevent the piston from rotating. It's the same thing with the second one. Line up the slot with the hole. Here is the third and final. The other two are in the same direction, this third one is actually in the opposite direction to line up with the hole. Installation is reverse of uninstallation. Once you have everything installed, you'll have to fill the transmission fluid up, so I'll link it to my video above and in the description section below. 
hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.